Hi everyone, finally a project share and this is a project for a swap um, that we're doing. Uh, the 15th of September is a big day. It's again our crafty meet up, meet up with my amazing crafting friends uh, Leonie, Brigitta, Luz, Cindy, Nadezhda, Nancy and I think I have got them all. The group is getting bigger. And we decided uh, to create a waterfall embellishment box. Now I did give my box a little bit of a twist. And I linked the original video um, that inspired us to do this swap. Down below in the description box. As well as all these talented ladies. So you can um, maybe hop over and see what type of box they created. Now this was sure a challenge for me. Because creating embellishments is not really my thing. So this is my box was built up from scratch um, the papers are from a local store and it's papers in which there are as well as foil uh, foiling papers as the same one as non-foiling the lid was inspired by Miranda Edney I bet you all know her she's a very talented um, mixed media lady DNA just removed some DNA and some glue strings Sorry, so this is the lid. Um, let's see if I maybe can remove the lid first separately. So, um, as you see, I layered three pieces of lace, a very light pink, then this white one with some silver in it, and pom pom trim. I then attached these um, bling trim on top as well layered a smaller piece with silver here you see three rolled pieces of uh, paper that I stacked at the side I created a beautiful bow um, with three different types of vintage laces added some uh, pearl strands a beautiful bling which was gifted to me in a swap by Marta butterfly here then there's a cluster of roses, uh, mainly from um, my local store, action store. Um, these are flowers that I found once on a flea market hunt. They were stickled up with crystals, uh, with um, stickles. The image is an image, heavy chic image from um, the in from Pinterest. Um, the beautiful silver frame. Um, the glitter paper is also from my local store. Um, did layer it a couple of times. Um, two white layers and then the silver layer just to give it some dimensions. And this is a um, Tim Holtz frame Sizzix die. The Enjoy did the same thing. Cut it out twice out of white cardstock. Then out of glittery pink cardstock. And this is a die from AliExpress. The two beautiful resin corner pieces are from my local store as well. And these are some curly bits that I had in my stash. And this one is from another store. And this is how my lid turned out. And this is my exploding box. Now we agreed in creating... Um, I'm gonna divide these. My, my box is going to Brigitta. Now Brigitta is all over... Um, um, Rolodex cards, I'm sorry, oh, I've just got a word, my fiber is really playing up. So I'm adding some of um, extra Rolodex cards so that she can alter. She doesn't have this die, so she could try it out. If she likes this die, she could just still order it. Now, as you see, um, this is my waterfall box. And I may turn it into an exploding box, two pockets in the side, which she can... Uh, later turn into pockets to put photos what I did is to balance out <laughs> my waterfall is each time where there was were no embellishments I tucked in one of these rosettes she can pull out and then reuse them and, to and turn them into a wand and then th this way I thought it was more balanced than without because if I pull them out you will see there's these drop 
down and with these in the middle they are a bit more balanced and nicely evil so we created um the idea was to create seven pages of which the front page was a decorative page and this is what i did with mine um the beautiful girl die is a die from aliexpress um from alina craft the border dies at the bottom the grass die as well as the two tooth in the back here are memory box dies as well as a large tree and the tiny birds they're all memory box dies um the tiny flowers are from a very small punch i have this punch for ages in my stash so don't ask me which brand it is because the brand is gone <laughs> it doesn't even show anymore um the little rabbit is a die from my local store one of the recent dies i had it's put some here and there some bling um an old, another very old punch that i have tiny butterfly hugs and kisses is a die from aliexpress loved it again die cut it a couple of times to give it some dimension and this is my front page and as you pull you will see the embellishments now i did use very weak foam tape so they are removable very easy so on the first page let's see because it's very hard to foam i had two paper bows from a I, I these of a craft emotions i think added some flowers in the middle and then i added couldn't help it just had to add one of some of my hand crocheted flowers i know i gave brigitte in the past some several of them and she all used them up so just made some new ones that she could use um this is another bow die uh, this one is one from aliexpress now i did put this upside down just to give it a more equal division and imbalance uh hand crocheted circles with um fabric that i made with fabric and crocheted around and added some embellishment so she can pop this out and add it to her project now as you see they do pop out easily i did just make sure i did remove some of the extra stickiness here is another um large embellishment I, I had made two of these and i balanced them out over the two pages again in the opposite direction as they are quite dimensional so this is a Tim Holtz um, birdcage die and all the rest of stuff uh, from my stash uh, like the pompon trim flowers um, this little trim was I won in a giveaway uh, from Lee trim that I had in my stash and a big hugs die is again a die from Aliexpress um, these little embellishment cupcakes are inspired from pinterest as i said i'm not so good in making embellishments so um i looked up a lot on pinterest for inspiration just used the spellbinders die and martha stewart punch um this little cherry is from a mariana design die that i have uh, one of my crochet bows um here is again another birdcage die just a little bit different this one was heat embossed with some silver added special and here i cheated a bit i really was running out of ideas so i stuck some um ready board embellished butterflies here but they i think they really go well with the rest so and they're very nice to use on projects and then here I created a shaker again with the Tim Holtz frame die. I layered it about eight times to create height so I could. I'm not gonna shake it, but uh, as you see, um, this is a vellum saying from a vellum block from a local store. A little bow from AliExpress. The beautiful lady is a die from AliExpress as well. That are paper piece, of which I paper piece the hair, the purse, and the dress and these are a three layered butterfly oh, four piece butterfly also from aliexpress i hope she will like it and last but not least is this page 
and these are the beautiful flowers from Alina Craft. And again, these are multi-layered flowers. There are three layers um, to the flower and three layers to the leaves. And hope she likes this box and that she will enjoy using the embellishments. As I said, it was an absolute challenge for me. Now let's put the rosettes back in between that she can use there and then you have an overall look and as you see it just fits snugly snugly into the box as well as the lid it just fits snugly nice and tight over the box i hope you like this project um let me know what you think of this exploding waterfall embellishments box Thank you all for watching and commenting. Bye!